a very warm welcome to tech mining. You can also easily migrate your applications from one instance to another, and include data in tables using Data Packager, in which you specify a table or a list of tables for which the data gets exported with an application. Here are the steps to use this utility. First, because of blob data type is not supported for export, since we have a blob column in the demo products table, we cannot use this procedure to deploy sales web application, unless we drop product image column. After dropping product image column from the database, now we can proceed further. In this steps we are creating scripts for supporting objects to package the application for installation in other environment. First create sequence script, because generally in Oracle Apex first we create sequence, then table, and then trigger. Using the up arrow button on the right side of the page, move up the demo product info table just after the demo customers table, to prevent foreign key violation. After creating these three database object scripts, in order to move data as well with the application, we use the data packager feature of Oracle Apex. Using this up arrow button, move the demo product info table just after the demo customers table. You have to place product info table before the order items table because the product table is the master table to the order items table. If you don't do this you will get constraint violation message during the import process. The product table must be placed before the order items table. Now that we have the application as well as the underlying data packaged, we can export this application. You need a new workspace on Oracle Apex site to test the import process. Click the info icon provided at the top to learn how to create a new workspace in Oracle Apex. After creating the workspace, log into it. Now import the application file that you just exported.
After this success, now navigate to Object Browser and review the application tables that are installed along with the underlying data. Check sequences and triggers as well. Now run the new application you've just imported. You will encounter an error saying you are not authorized to view this application. When you deploy your application you will need to manually manage your user to role assignments. Application users are not exported as part of your application. In this step we have to add three users and assign them different roles. Create the first user with your new workspace email ID, and assign it administrator role. For remaining two users, you can use any name you like. Then assign them contributor and reader role. Set scheme to no application authorization required. Now you will be able to access your newly imported application. As you can see, all the pages are displaying along with the complete data same as in previous workspace. That's it for now. Hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.